Hey guys, this is uh, Professor Pearson, and I want to uh, just give you a, a quick um, overview of how I do research, because um, I know a lot of you guys are are uh, coming in, and, and some of you are fresh to doing research, some of you are, are great at doing research, so I figured I'd give you uh, just a couple of the tips that I've been using for the last uh, few years, uh, especially uh, has been very useful during my doctorate, so... Um, I use three programs in conjunction with each other. I use a program called Zotero, which I have up on the screen right now. Um, I also use a program called Mendeley, which is this program right here. And you'll see Mendeley desktop here. Uh, this is Mendeley. Uh, and I use this as my resource manager. And then I just use a, you know, the standard web browser. Um, and I use uh, Google Scholar. So I'm gonna go back over here to Google Scholar. And these are basically the three programs I use to do all of basic all of my initial research. So um, I know a lot of you are uh, looking at um, you know the best ways of doing things. So I'm going to take you through the flow of of how I find a document and then how I store a document. Um, so the first thing I do is I I've downloaded my Zotero and I've installed my Zotero uh, plugins and you can download the program uh, desktop version which you want to do. And then go ahead and down your download the plugins for your browsers, such as uh, Google Chrome, Firefox, etc. So I'm running the Firefox version, and once I install the um, the plugins, you'll see up in the upper right corner here, I have my Zotero um, icon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up my Zotero, and we see it. We've got my uh, directories that I've been working on already. So I've got one called Utica. I'm going to click on Utica and now I'm going to create a new sub collection by right clicking on Utica and I'm going to call this uh, CYB673 and under CYB673 I'll do a new sub collection called week one. So I can store all the files and all the programs and what you call it and how you organize it, that's really up to you. That's really a personal choice. But you'll notice that I have this new um, uh, email message. But you'll notice I have this new um, application running, or this Zotero box running at the bottom of my uh, Google browser. Um, let me go ahead and turn this off here so we're not getting any more of those. All right. So, at what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add a document to my collection here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Google Scholar. And in Google Scholar, uh, this week we're learning about cybercrime. So I'm going to type in uh, cybercrime and I'm going to misspell it purposely. And I want to look at cybercrime theory. Now the nice thing about Google Scholar is Google Scholar is going to give me a suggestion. It's going to say, hey, you probably should use cybercrime theory. I'm like, okay, that's probably a... A better way in. and up pops well look at that our book pops up first and here's all the stuff that we're talking about in fact here's one on uh, uh, routine activity theory that we were just talking about uh, which is a part of the cybercrime and, and discussions and things such as that now you notice I don't have um, a lot of PDFs I have one PDF over here um, I don't have a whole lot of different PDFs okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna force this to show me just PDFs. so I'm gonna type in file type PDF. Now what that's going to do is that's going to change my results to only show me PDF files. So as, I, as you can see by me typing in file type PDF, now all I'm going to get is PDF documents. All right. Now once I find a PDF document I like, so I'm looking at, uh, let's see, uh, neutralizations, rationalization of digital piracy, a qualitative analysis of universal students. All right, that sounds interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and down, or I'm going to open that up. So I'm going to click on it. And up pops a PDF uh, reader in my uh, Firefox. And I go down and I'm going to read the abstract real quick. But in this peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, talks about some of the, uh, the reasons that people do what they do and why they don't see it as being a problem. So this kind of fits into exactly what we're talking about in the computer crime section because this is talking about uh, neutralization, you know, why people 
and uh, rationalize their ability to do uh, computer crime. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my icon in the upper right hand corner here and I'm going to click on my download button. And again, this is in Firefox. I'm going to click on download and you'll notice in my box I now have a save to Zotero option box. So when I installed the program and I installed the plugin, it installed this. Now, if you only install the plugin, you will not get this. You must install the program, the desktop client, and the plugin to get this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK. And you'll see it's saving the link. It's downloading all the metadata because I've asked it to download and find all the metadata. And I'm going to now download my uh, PDF document to my computer. It's now in my repository, and it's, also, it's now under my CYB 673 week one. When I open that up, and you'll see that it's got the name, it's got the author's name, it's already looked at some of the metadata, I now have my raw PDF. Now, Zotero is a good citation manager, but I like Mendeley better. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to cross this. Now that I've found this document and I've, I've, I've used Zotero, which is really the most efficient way of gathering the documents, I'm now going to move this document over into my Mendeley. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. Well, before I do that, I'm going to open up my Mendeley. And I'm going to make sure I have the folder open that I want. So I'm looking at all of the documents I downloaded for uh, research on 673. Those are all the documents I was looking at. And now I'm going to go to week one of 673. I've created a folder in my Mendeley. I created an a, a, uh, icon or a item called uh, CYB 673 and I create a sub collection under that called week one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my go back to my browser and don't try to drag this because it won't work you got to drag the PDF so I'm going to grab the PDF and all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply go over to my Firefox and my Firefox should open up or my Mendeley should open up excuse me so my Mendeley opens up I'm going to drag it up onto the screen and I'm just going to drop it. Now, look what happens. Over here, it now breaks out all the metadata. It puts in all of my citation information. It gives me my abstract. It goes out onto the Elsevier database and verifies this book and brings back all the current and all the good information. I now have a full citation. So if I right click on this and I go down to copy as, I can set it out as a formatted citation. So now I can copy it in my uh, web document or whatever it is I want to move it to. I can also open this now and read this directly in my Mendeley application. So here's this research paper and I'm going through it and I'm finding stuff that's interesting. So I can, I can highlight it, I can select text, um, so I can highlight stuff, there's some more text I want to highlight and here's another doc or part I want to highlight. So I can highlight my stuff directly inside of my uh, Mendeley program. Now the cool thing here is, so I want to use this document in my paper. So I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, I know exactly where I want to put this and I'm going through my paper and I'm writing my paper. So once it's into my Mendeley, I've in my Mendeley and my tools, I've installed my uh, Microsoft Word plugin. So on my computer, I have Microsoft Word and I've installed the Word plugin from the Mendeley browser. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Okay, so now that I've opened my Word document, um, I'm going to use a, uh, disc a discussion post that I was working on this week um, that for my class. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to put a reference block in here. Okay, so here's a uh, reference block. And the way I'm going to do this is at the bottom of my document, all I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the bibliography. And when you do that, it's going to insert a bibliography for you based on what we put in up top. Now, at first, since you don't have anything in there, there won't be anything available. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, uh, this is the reason that uh, more, or this is the reason that uh, uh, rationalization occurs. Okay. I'm going to go to my insert citation. I'm going to type in more. There's my natural or neutralization and rationalization. I'm going to click on OK. It's going to form my, my citation. Now, I have to put this into the right APA format. This is APA 5. We are in 6. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to say and. 
And I'm going to change this to 2009 with the parentheses. Boom. Now I'm done. Okay. And once I do that, um, you probably saw this in here before because I was, I was kind of testing it up top here. But you'll see that it automatically adds the correct citation for my document below. Okay. So uh, I should have done that. There it is. So here's my citation as it should appear in APA format. So it does two things for you. Um, it allows you to quickly input um, your citations into your manager, but it also allows you to uh, quickly build your um, reference list at the very bottom. And if you choose APA format like you have up here, um, this will be in the correct format below. Again, you'll have to make some adjustment, adjustments um, inside your document. But again, this is my workflow. Again, I start out at, uh, at Google and I find documents that I want and I simply uh, download the document that I want. Um, so this one's coming down. Oh, hopefully this one will open up. Let's open up this one. Spam and cybercrime. Let's open this up. Okay. Um, if it's available for me to download, uh, it'll pop up as a download. If not, it, you may have to go find it in the Utica library. Um, but now you know exactly what you're looking for. ResearchGate is usually a, a really good one. Uh, they usually go straight into um, the Adobe Download or Adobe Reader, excuse me. Let's see if I can pull this up here real quick. This is a larger document, so it's going to take a, a second or two on my computer to, to download. I know some of you are very impressed with my uh, screaming bandwidth here. Uh, Slightly better than uh, dial-up AOL, I think. Uh, yeah. And one more shot, and we should have it. But again, once that's downloaded, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the download button. I'm going to download that, save it to Zotero, click OK. And once it comes down into Zotero, it's going to save the link. And then it's going to pop into my Zotero. Okay, so, and it didn't pop into Zotero, so let me do it one more time. Save to Zotero. Save the link here. Hopefully it works this time. And it looks like it did this time. So this time it couldn't read the PDF, that's fine. It's still a PDF. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to my Mendeley library. I'm going to go back to my browser, drag and drop. Under my Mendeley, boom, done. And now it's going to go out. It's going to see if it can find it. Obviously, it doesn't recognize its name, so I might have to do a little bit of editing here. So I'm going to open my, my document up once it's in there. And I can go in now and I can update my, my, uh, my document. All right. So it looks like this one may not have come across correctly. So I have to go back and I'd have to download it again. But again, you guys get the idea. Um, if you have any questions on how to do this, uh, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, again, just wanted to show you a workflow, something that works for me. And then just one other thing, uh, when you guys are working, I know uh, most of you have heard, have heard the, um, you know, kind of the, the words, oh, don't, don't use uh, Wikipedia, things like that. Uh, well, that's true, but you can also use Wikipedia in another way. And what I like using Wikipedia to do is this. I'm going to type in Wikipedia. I'm going to bring up my Wikipedia, uh, hopefully here. And in Wikipedia, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in cybercrime. Go search for that. And then Wikipedia is going to bring me back some, you know, documents, etc. And that, that's fine. Here's a little introduction. I don't care about any of this. What I want is down at the very bottom, because at the very bottom is your reference list. And these are all the references, and there it is. There's Moore's Investigation, so you've got a lot of, of uh, documents here that might be very useful to you. Again, all you got to do is click on a document to take you to uh, the text that you're looking for. And again, I'm, my computer is running really, really slow, or my network is running really slow. Um, but this should open up. Once it's opened up, <clears throat> I can download it, save it to my Zotero, 
and hopefully this won't take too long. Okay, there's cyber extortion. It's created the document, it's read the document, and it looks like everything's gonna work this time. So I'm gonna grab it, drag it across to my Mendeley, boom, drop it. All right, so there it goes, it finds the document, it goes as it installs it. I'm gonna get rid of this one here because it did not come across correctly. So I'm gonna remove this from my folder. All right, so here's my document I just downloaded. And again, as soon as I do that, uh, which is uh, Lepofsky, I can now go into my Word document. Notice Lepofsky is not here. I'm gonna insert him. I'm citing him. Boom, cybertext, done. It's formatted, just need to correct the format. And it's done. And you'll notice that I now have Leposky as one of my documents up here. And now I'm, I'm moving forward on my document. <clears throat> All right, it saves me a lot of time. Anyways, uh, just want to give you this little uh, helper text or helper. Uh, if this helps you, great. If you've got a better way of doing it, stick with what you got. Um, but that's how I find uh, good journal articles to use. And again, I'm not using web-based articles. I'm using journal articles, and that's, that's the key here. Okay? Uh, with that, I hope that helps you guys out, and uh, I'll see you in class.